Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Bangkok. I'm just in my new Airbnb and very nice it is too. I'm in Bangkok now for a month. I'm not going to stay in Bangkok for the full month, I'm going to do weekends around and everything like that. But first things first, I thought I'd do some of the main things that tourists want to do when they come into Bangkok. So I'm going to check out a couple of the temples. So today the plan is to look at Wat Arun and Wat Po. Okay, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, let's go. Right, we're in. 100 baht to get in. It's cost me about 100 baht to, for the journey to get here. Motorbike takes us to BTS station, BTS, and then um, MRT to the station, whose name I will put on the um, thing up there because I don't want to pronounce it badly. But we're in. Okay, let's go. Oh, wow, look at this. I've never actually been here before. All these years coming to Thailand, I've never really only done any tourist stuff around Bangkok. Wow. And I'm not really into temples, but this is something very, very impressive. Guys, I've got to keep my mask on. Someone's just had a go at me, just for taking it off, just to narrate. But look at this. So at the moment, time-wise, it's quarter past ten in the morning. And there is literally hardly anyone here. Which normally, obviously this is like one of the main tourist bits. Now, if you're a lady, you will have to either come with like trousers or some pants or something on, light pants, just to uh, keep your legs covered, or they will give you some. There was a couple of ladies in front of me who uh, had shorts on, and they just gave us some to wear. They're all dead friendly. So there's hardly anyone here at the moment, so there's no problem with any of that. <laughs> This is fantastic. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shut up um, and then I'll just give you a some short video just to show you all around it uh, with some music. So you can climb up, so I'm sort of on like a mid, mid level, you can just see from here. And there's some people down there having like wedding photos and things, not quite sure. Now I don't know if you can see river is there and just over there is um, Grand Palace and there's Wat Po and all that. And I think you can go over the river. There's a boat you can catch to go over the river. So I'm going to attempt to do that. Got no idea where I'm going like, but I'm just making it up as I go along. But that's all the adventure. Well worth a visit. I'm more annoyed with myself. I've never been here before. And I've been coming for a long, long time. So just outside the main sort of compound, I don't know what you'd call it, it's all these little gardens and things. 
few people trying to sell your boat trips, but nothing too aggressive. And this is right on the riverfront. So if we have a look up here, we'll see a bit of the famous Chow Praia River. A bit choppy as well. Now I think over there is where you can cross. So let's try it. Okay, so I was going to go across the ferry, but I just came across this complex. I'm not sure about the significance of it, but it's absolutely fantastic. guys I'm not really into temples too much but this is well worth a visit you know if you're only ever going to come to two temples these are the ones to come to absolutely fantastic really really impressive Right, here we go. It's just about to start raining as well. So we can go to the ferry. And ladies, that's where you, if you borrowed trousers and stuff. Right, so that is a massive four bar to person to cross over the river which is about, what, 10 English pence. So I think we can afford that. Yeah. So we're just gonna wait here for one to come across. I am whispering a bit, because there's other people around and it's a religious site. So that shows you where we're going, but this is a really good day out. Look at sky, you'll see. This morning it was bright sun and I thought it was going to be a good day, but the last two or three days have not been so great. But, um, no point worrying about that, is there? Just come out of there and it's absolutely tipping it down now there's a lady down there very enterprising selling umbrellas a hundred baht <laughs> so i bought one look we're under an umbrella so moving on but just round here you'll see there's all sorts of shops selling americanos 45 baht art americanos all that sort of stuff so it's all good and all boys on Tuk Tuk's asking you to go with them. I'm okay. Thank you, sir. I'm not got a clue where I'm going, but we'll have a look. This gentleman selling sunglasses for 50 baht. Ah, okay. What po entrance open every day down there? So that's an important thing to know. There you go. What po open every day, eight till six, or oh, it says eight till five there. We just come in morning like I've done. There's nobody here. Absolutely no one around. So just so you can get your bearings, I have just come out of the pier and I've turned right, okay? And there's a few signs saying go to what po. And they're all here. And there's lots of people with their eyes on me already. But not a problem. Now I was gonna walk along the pavement, but no worries. 
I'll go back across. That's we go. And just in this area, it's like a bit of a market type thing and people selling stuff and all that sort of business. So if you want to get any food or anything like that, you can do. Has it stopped raining now? Now we can get across here. I'm going to go across here. Okay, I just don't want to get knocked over. Now there's obviously tuk-tuks and stuff. Now I'm not having a go at tuk-tuks and all that sort of stuff. A bit of parking, parking drama here. Don't get in. Okay. Yeah, as I said, I'm not having a big go at tuk-tuks and stuff, but if um, it's raining again, get me on rail room. But if you, I mean, they're good fun, but if you're going to use one, be aware of how much they want you to pay and negotiate price a bit and do not tell them exactly do not let them take you where they want to take you none of this don't have any of this oh we'll go to my friend's place and i'll take you for free and all that because just don't bother just um get a price for wherever they want to go wherever you want to go you want to go straight there and no messing about Here we go, park, parking, parking car for tourists. Well, you've got no chance here, but let's see. Right, I'll get back to you in a minute when I've found exactly where I'm going. Okay, we're in. Right, uh, 200 baht that guys. Five English pounds, well worth it. This is nice as well. I have actually been here once before, about 16 years ago. And there's some guys there who want um, guides. So if you do want a guide, it's not a lot. I think guide price is like three or 400 baht for half an hour, which is enough, but I'm not bothered about that. I'm just having a look in round. Okay, thank you, sir. He just heard me talking about guides and having another go, but not to worry. But this is this is enormous. Can't remember it being like this. What I can remember is we got um, collared by a load of schoolgirls um, to do like a survey and a chat about Bangkok and things, and we were about an hour. Just chatting to these girls. Well, they weren't school girls, they were university students. And we were only in his 20s at the time, so that were all good fun. Now, obviously, Wat Po is where the reclining Buddha is. So I'm going to go and find that. And I can remember when I came here, oh God, there was, there was about an half an hour queue just to stand up and have your photograph taken with it but as you can see I do not think there's going to be that big a queue today one it's raining two there's very few tourists around but we'll have a look we'll have a look right I'll catch you in a bit Nice guys, a few people, not a few, maybe like three or four people around the other side where the Buddha is. So I thought I'd just walk around this way first. 
And as you can see, it's all set up for queuing because there's normally massive, massive queues here in normal times. But all this, look at all this, it's all unpainted. And you can see there's a lady there just either restoring or creating or doing it, doing something like that. All this, this enormous place. All just painted by hand. Right, so this is obviously the back part, but if you look at the feet, you see this. Now in Buddhism, feet are the most like sacred part. So uh, I guess this is why there's this sort of thing on the bottom. I don't really know what it is. Well, this is obviously the famous reclining Buddha. Obviously I'm whispering a bit, a little bit. Absolutely fantastic. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, so we've been to What I Run, Temple of the Dawn, and this is Wat Po, which is where the reclining Buddha is. As I said before, I'm not into temples that much, but this is both really impressive. This is really a must do if you come into Thailand, you come into Bangkok. I will put all the information um, regarding getting here and everything, it's all up on the screens. I've tried to make it as informative as possible. I'm gonna go to an MRT station now, which I will also put on the screen and make my way back to the BTS and then make my way back to my condo. If you have enjoyed this, I would really appreciate you subscribing, giving me a thumbs up, and if you've got any questions, drop it in the comment below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching.